Yo, trust my boy Sammy Ellinger in this one. I know he's lost some confidence, but ride with Sammy. Take the points. Texas plus five and a half. The Suez. 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 All right, first of all, Tom Herman is clearly high with these injury reports. Last week, Colin Johnson, who is my favorite, one of my favorite players in all of college football, was listed as a game time decision. Colin Johnson is a star wide receiver for Texas. He ended up not playing with a hamstring industry, uh, injury last week. Game time decision, right? So you're thinking, all right, if it was a game time decision last week, that means he's definitely playing the following week. Wrong. On Tuesday, he's listed as doubtful for Saturday's game. In the following week, how is he a game time? Whatever. It's irrelevant. I'm not going to get into that. Let's get to the game. All right, so Sam Ellinger has been shaky. We all know this, but you know what? Last week, he had a huge cover for me against Iowa State. Yeah, I know the Cyclones ended up kicking a game-winning field goal, and Texas lost. Didn't matter. I still got the cover. Thank you, Sammy. Now, Baylor, on the other hand, is coming off a heartbreaking loss to Oklahoma last week, and where... <laughs> the entire nation watched them blow a 14-point fourth quarter lead. Ooh. I think their confidence might be a little down, but regardless, they're going to lose to this Texas team and my boy Sammy. Baylor's defense actually doesn't really line up with the rest of the Big 12 trash defenses. Their defense is actually respectable. I believe it's top 24th in the nation in, in uh, scoring defense. So that's not really your typical um, Big 12 defense. How do Big 12 defensive coordinators have jobs, by the way? Uh, whatever, I'm sidetracked. But I like Texas to win this game. This is a statement game for Texas and Sammy Ellinger. Watch it happen. Final score, Texas 30, Baylor 28, Texas plus five and a half. Good bet.